Hello, hello, good evening everyone, good evening. Ankit, you can take rest then. Hi, hi, good evening everyone. Yes, Surinder, you want to say something? Hi, sir. Hi, Surinder. Yes, sir. So due to sir, fewer last week, sir, I cannot attend coding contest uh, uh, previous day, sir. This will affect, sir. I'm not exactly sure, but yeah, they are keeping the track. Yes, but try to reach them if they allow you to give it, give you again. Yes, sir. Try to score uh, next time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. मैंने दिया है जो भी था. ये सब पिछले भी जो है हमेशा थोड़ी तबीयत ज़्यादा ख़राब हुई थी. बस आपके lectures देख रहा था. ताकि वो bunk ना हो. Okay, okay, cool. और लेकिन और सब कुछ नहीं कर पा रहा था. No worries, no worries. ये सब तो ज़िंदगी का part है. कोई बात नहीं. No, I mean, I just wanted to ask you, sir, will it affect it, sir? Effect, I don't know exactly how it works, how much effect is it, how much effect is it, how much effect is it. Sir, tell me once, sir, you can tell me about it in extra class, sir, about it. No, no, extra class is not related, I don't have any exactly idea of how it works, 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 but absolutely, ट्रैक कर रहे हैं आपका सब कुछ अटेंडेंस कॉन्टेस्ट मॉक इंटरव्यूज दे ट्रैक एवरीथिंग मतलब अगर कभी प्रोफाइल खोलते हैं किसी के एज अ मॉक इंटरव्यू सो इट इट्स इट्स देयर सो इट मे बट ट्राई टू डू बेटर नेक्स्ट टाइम और आस्क देम इफ इफ इट इज पॉसिबल टू रिशेड्यूल फॉर यू यस सर यस कैन दे रिशेड्� Okay, thank you, sir. No problem. Okay, just give me a minute. One hour thirty. I need to change its time. Here allows is a big issue now. Male pot, male pattern baldness. क्या कर सकते हैं? It is what it is. Okay, so no worries, guys. Guys, I don't know about the issues. कि कैसे क्या issues आएंगे, but try to do your best. All I can say. Exponentiation, modular inverse. Okay, exponentiation last time cover up nahi kar pa is me. Okay, modular inverse with the way see koi question nahi hai. Just give me a minute guys, just give me a minute. I'm trying to make something out of this thing here. Okay, let's make this as also half an hour. Better now. Okay guys, so let's begin today's session.
Okay, so today we are going to like uh, this modular exponentiation we have already done. Now I'm going to tell you about modular inverse also, like what it is. Okay, just some part of uh, modular arithmetics. So exponentiation, to sabi ko yaad hai guys, like how we can do it, right? Two methods maine aapko bataye the. Ek to brute force hai. Ek mein ham thoda sa creativity use karte hain. So let me go through this last time. Okay, so yeah, this was a monster question that we were trying to solve that time, <laughs> but it's not solved yet, guys. Let's see. Let's see this later. Okay, so this is the first one. So in modular arithmetics, uh, we were trying to solve something. Where is modulo? Yeah, here. So guys, uh, modular arithmetics. We have studied some properties. We studied some properties here, like uh, this one: a plus b modulo c is uh, a modulo c plus b modulo c modulo of c. So basically, to break the larger number into smaller part, but we can use modulo only when it is given in the question. Okay, this thing, and we learned about this uh, exponentiation also modular, and I told you like uh, two approaches here. One was the basic one. Simply start iterating using a for loop and keep calculating until you find the uh, keep multiplying this product and you will get this five raised to power nine. And second method was little bit creative one, like uh, we keep on dividing our power into half and uh, keep our and squaring our base. Okay, अपने base को square करते रहते हैं, अपने exponent को half करते रहते हैं. so this was the logic that we used so our time complexity became big of log n so itna hum padh chuke the last time now we are going to see something related to modular once again that is uh, what it is modular inverse yeah I want to teach you modular inverse give me a minute please एग्जाम्पल था अच्छा ओके सो नाउ सो नाउ गाइस फर्स्टली लेट्स ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इनवर्स मींस ओके so you remember like uh, in mathematics sometimes we study about inverse humne inverse ke bare mein uh, we studied about it so <coughs> inverse is like to uh, say so inverse property is basically mostly in addition like uh, if i want to get the same number no let's talk about inverse and multiplication okay so firstly i'm going to tell you about multiplicative inverse okay so multiplicative inverse is like if i say a multiplied by something something that will give me 1 that is nothing but a raised to power minus 1 right guys 1 upon a equals to 1 so very simple this thing guys in case of multiplication it is very simple 
that multiplicative inverse for any given number any given number gives us what 5 raised to minus uh, raised to power minus 1 gives us 1 तो ये जो आइडेंटिकल नंबर हमें वन देगा दैट इज कॉल्ड इट्स मल्टीप्लिकेटिव इनवर्स सो मल्टीप्लिकेटिव इनवर्स ऑफ फाइव इज दिस थिंग गॉट इट एवरीबडी सो दिस इज वेरी सिंपल सो इट इज वेरी सिंपल इन टर्म्स ऑफ दिस मल्टीप्लिकेटिव इनवर्स बट इट गेट्स ट्रिकी इन टर्म्स ऑफ मॉडल इनवर्स नाउ Okay, I'm going to explain you this little bit here. Okay, ये सिंपल सी एक प्रॉपर्टी है दैट वी आर गोइंग टू लुक इन टू सो इफ यू रीड इट हेयर द मॉडल इन इनवर्स ऑफ ए मॉड एम एग्जिस्ट ओनली इफ ए एंड एम आर रिलेटिवली प्राइम दैट इज जी सी डी ऑफ ए एंड एम इक्वल्स टू वन आई विल एक्सप्लेन दिस लेटर हेंस फॉर फाइंडिंग द इनवर्स ऑफ अ अंडर मॉड्यूल एम If a into b mod m equals to one equals to one, then b is modular inverse of a. Cool. So just like here, if here we were writing a into b, if this gives me one, then for a, for a, this b is my multiplicative inverse inverse okay similarly if i write value uh, like this a into b but this time we need a mod modular value okay modular m should give us one if this becomes the condition then this b is my modular inverse okay cool so now we will look ahead and uh, we need to find more so now guys let's take one example let me take now we have to find this b okay values of a and m will be given so let's say if i say that 2 into something 2 into something modular m value of m i can set 5 okay equals to 1 So now you tell me what should be the value of this so that when we multiply it with two and modulus five give us gives us one. Okay, so tell me guys what should be the value of this place here, this b. Two point five. How it can be two point five guys? Two point five तो हो ही नहीं सकता possible ही नहीं है. Somebody is saying three. ओके सो लेट्स सी हाउ वी कैन डू दिस सो पहले यहां पर वन रख के देखते हैं वन रख के ओके सो लेट्स ट्राई टू डू इट विद टू सो व्हाट इट विल बिकम टू ओके इफ आई ट्राई टू मॉड इट बाय फाइव इट विल गिव मी टू ओनली बट वी नीड वन ओके सो टू इज नॉट करेक्ट वन इज नॉट करेक्ट लेट्स पुट हेयर टू नाउ सो टू इंटू टू इज फोर ना इफ आई ट्राई टू मॉड इट बाय फाइव इट विल गिव मी वॉट फाइव इन Five zero zero zero, and it will give me again four. But we need here one. Okay, now let's try to put here three. So now it will be what? Two three is a six. Okay, two into three six. Six divided by five. Five ones are five, and my remainder is one. So so three is the correct answer, guys. Got it? Everybody is able to understand this. ये समझ में आया, guys? इसके लिए आंसर यहां पर है थ्री आई एम गोइंग टू रिमूव दिस दिस इज वेरी सिंपल कॉन्सेप्ट गाइज नथिंग स्पेशल हेयर ओके सो थ्री बिकम्स माई आंसर हेयर ओके लेट्स पुट सम मोर एग्जाम्पल्स हेयर एंड यू विल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस
so let's see now next number is uh let me put some examples i do not know the examples already so 2 into modular 11 okay should give me also one and 4 into this modular 5 should also give me one and finally 5 into something should give me modulo of 10 should give me also one okay so abhi tak property to guys aapko ye dekhte hue samajh mein aa chuka hoga right you must have already understood it now tell me what should be the answers of this so firstly tell me this how should i get this one here so first answer should be what first answer should be i think everybody has guessed it it will be 6 because 2 into 6 will be 12 which is one number greater than this okay so cool so now here here should be what what should be the answer here so let's try 4 ones are 4 so smaller numbers i obviously cannot try so 4 to the 8 if i try to divide it by 5 it will give me 3 as a remainder now if i put here 4 uh sorry guys i missed out something 4 threes i have checked 4 twos are sorry 4 threes are now 4 threes are is 12 okay 12 if i try to divide it by 5 it gives me 5 twos are 10 which gives me remainder as 2 now finally i can try with 4 which gives me 16 divided by 5 5 threes are 15 and remainder is 1 so 4 is the correct answer got it everybody very simple now finally guys tell me about this one tell me about this one what should be the answer for this one come on come on guys tell me about this mm-hmm. what should be the answer of this one guys anybody please tell me ayush how it can be 1 by 2 or 11 hum jab mod find karte hain guys fraction mein nahi ho sakta hai agar fraction use karenge to hum mod kaise find karenge we cannot find remainder so somebody says 13 okay let's try with 13 so if i try here 13 what it will be 13 into 5 let's do firstly this 5 3 is a 15 5 ones a 5 65 65 divided by 10 what it gives me 10 6 a 60 my answer is 5 this is not this is not correct guys okay it's not remainder is not one so what is the answer of this one guys what is the answer of this one <laughs> okay okay let's let's see this guys firstly so firstly let's try to understand if i'm trying to multiply any number by 5 what is its rule if i try to multiply any number by 5 what is its rule either it will give me <laughs> it won't be you won't be able to find it on google so let's try to understand okay guys let's try to understand yeah so last digit will either be 0 or either be 5 aage kuch bhi number ho sakta hai okay but last digit will be either 0 or 5 now if i try to divide any number this by 10 or 5 if i try to divide this number by 10 it will give me remainder as 0 only always if i try to <laughs> divide this number by 5 it will always give me remainder as 5 10 minus 5 will always give me 5 right तो या तो मेरा रिमाइंडर हमेशा फाइव आएगा या मेरा रिमाइंडर हमेशा जीरो आएगा वन तो अब पॉसिबल ही नहीं है गाइस इट्स नॉट पॉसिबल गॉट इट सो देर इज अ रूल फॉर दिस वन देर इज अ रूल दैट द नंबर्स फॉर वैल्यू ऑफ ए फॉर वैल्यू ऑफ ए दिस माय ए राइट दिस इज माय ए एंड दिस इज माय एम ओके देर एग्जिस्ट अ मॉड्यूलर इनवर्स ऑफ दिस ए एंड एम देर एग्जिस्ट बी only only if 
only if this is a rule guys try to understand a and m are co prime co prime means whose gcd equals to 1 what does this mean guys gcd ya hcf maine aap sabhi ko samjhaya hai guys okay maine gcd ya hcf sabhi ko samjhaya here if you see 2 and 3 what is its gcd 1 right there is no nothing common here so gcd will be 1 what is okay here we are able to find how is it possible okay no, not this number guys sorry 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 not this number the numbers are 2 and 5 okay gcd of 2 and 5 is 1 GCD of two and eleven is one. Four and five is one. But if you see GCD of five and ten, five and ten is what? It is five, not one. Got it, everybody? Anybody who did not understood this rule, guys, to find the modular inverse. What simple rule? Hai? Got it, everybody? Everybody is able to understand this. So this is what is written here in the definition. If you try to understand, the modular inverse of a mod M exists only if A and M are relatively prime or co-prime. That means GCD of A and M is equals to one. Okay. Hence, for finding the inverse of modulo, if A into B mod M equals to one, okay, then B is the inverse of it. And here is it is given one more example that uh, is five and seven. So let's try to find for five and seven also, guys. Okay, let's do one more example. So if I take five into something percent seven, it it should be equal to one. So what should be the value here, guys? What it should be? The value is three, as uh, you guys are already guessing. अगर आप गैस नहीं करते तो आई विल सॉल्व इट बट सिंपली फिफ्टीन डिवाइडेड बाय सेवन इट इज इक्वल्स टू सेवन टू फोर्टीन विच गिव्स अस वन ओके एंड दिस नंबर शुड बी स्मॉलेस्ट गाइस ओके ओके सो गाइस दैट्स ऑल अबाउट मॉडल यूनिवर्स ओके सो वी कैन राइट एल्गोरिदम नाउ to find a modulo inverse for a given a and m got it that's all so firstly i can write my own algo also but i want to check it out first if there are better or better inverse if there are better algorithms i will try to look into that so i know one Okay, this is very complicated one. I do not want to get into this part. We can do it, but it's okay. Okay, for now, it's not that much of importance. I will leave you this link, guys. If you want to try out this second approach also, if you want to read more about in much more depth about this uh, modular universe, you can read about it. Okay, else I'm gonna leave here you this link, and we are going to stick with the basic logic. Okay, now let's come back here. Yeah. So, what we will do, guys? What the approach we were following here? We will use that approach only. Very simple. So, we will start iterating from some value. Okay, that will give us answer as one. Okay, that's all. So, we need to find these b's, guys. Okay, that is the question's requirement. So, quickly tell me. I should run a for loop. Starting from which position and end at which position? Okay, कहाँ से मुझे for loop start करना चाहिए और कहाँ end करना चाहिए, guys? Come on, tell me. Come on, guys, come on, tell me. So currently, I am trying to find out this b. 
ओके फोर लूप फ्रॉम ए आई डोंट थिंक इट्स करेक्ट स्टूडेंट पी ए इट कैन बी लेस देन ए आल्सो ओके इट शुड स्टार्ट फ्रॉम वन टू अप टू अप टू विच वैल्यू गोइज we should run it up to m at least okay because why i'm saying up to m because if you try to multiply any number up to this number okay it will simply divide that got it so at least i should run it for i think i should run it for starting from 1 yeah up to m only not greater than m i let me just confirm this guys i don't want to get into trouble for now yeah from 1 to m cool okay so that is not even required equal to ki agar main isse equal to jaunga so that will simply cancel it out agar main ise 10 se 10 ka example to sahi nahi hai because it is not even possible so if i try to multiply 2 into 11 okay मॉड्यूल 11 तो 11 तो वैसे भी 11 को कैंसल आउट कर ही रहे सो दैट्स नो यूज टू यूज 11 ओके सो वी विल गो अप टू सो लेट मी जस्ट राइट इट हियर नॉट इवन इक्वल टू वी कैन गो अप टू आई इज लेस देन एम यू कैन रन इट इक्वल टू स्टिल यू विल गेट योर करेक्ट आंसर सो दैट्स ऑल सो नाउ हियर इनसाइड दिस वी कैन राइट अवर लॉजिक okay that's all there will be the inputs will be already given to you as int the value of a okay value of a will be given so in this case let's say it is 2 and m will be given which is equal to 5 and i need to find my b okay let's say my answer or b initially equals to minus 1 if you are not able to find out okay then it will be minus 1 in this case so it is minus 1 in this case let's say okay and define so now tell me the logic guys what logic should i write here what logic should i write here very simple logic all the very very easy logic come on guys tell me guys say something man are koi to bolo bhai kuch okay nobody so i will write here simply you can check if there is no n up to here okay i can write here this is a that's all a into b okay b is what b is our i b is our i okay because we are incrementing this i again and again so here i can write if a into i if a into i percent m percent m equal equals to 1 okay that's all if this is the condition then i should do what then i can break also from here or i can print print my answer becomes what i okay this i this b becomes my answer that's all and i can break from here cool that's all guys okay so something related to like this i can do this if you have any doubt in this guys so far kisi logic mein ya kuch so please ask me just remember this thing okay remember this condition so let's do this Int m is equals to three. Let's get p is equals to minus one. Okay, I can start iterating my loop. Int i is equals to zero, not zero, one. I is less than uh, what? 
not n but m semicolon i plus plus okay i can write here if a into i this whole i need to modulo modulo m equals to one I can do is just print here or uh, should I print my answer later okay I can print my answer later B equals to I okay, and break that's all okay, and here I can simply print s out B okay now let's try to test it out guys I hope this runs fine that's all very straightforward and simple logic okay so which is two right let me test out all the cases that we okay how is it to two ways okay i didn't test sandesh i'm just keeping b equals to minus one mera is case ke liye ke jab mera koi answer nahi hai to main usse define kar raha hu minus one se cool kuch bhi aap rakh sakte ho but generally not defined ke liye ya binary search mein jab hume koi input nahi milta Uh, एक रॉन्ग इनपुट रॉन्ग इनपुट के लिए हम ये माइनस वन आंसर रखते हैं ओके समथिंग लाइक दैट विच गिव्स मी थ्री ऑसम नाउ लेट्स टेस्ट इट विद टू एंड इलेवन Okay, so this should give me answer as six. Answer is six. Very good. Four and five. Four and five. Let's try to run this. Which is four. Awesome. Now finally, let's test out this one. This is the main one. Five and ten. Five and ten. We'll try to run it. Which is minus one. Awesome, guys. Works awesome. This minus one means undefined. So got it, everybody. This uh, algorithm is clear to everyone. Like how this model works. Tell me the time complexity of this one, guys. Come on, tell me. What is the time complexity for this one? Uh, what is the time complexity of this one? Yeah, Subhani, ask. Yeah, yeah, Subhani, please. Line nine to twelve. Okay, Subhani, as I explained here, I have written the very simple logic. I'm trying to find this b, right? I'm trying to search this b, the correct value. Okay, ये जैसे three है, I will start from one, two, and three. Here I will start from one, two, three, four, five, six. Here I will start from one, two, three, four until I get my answer. Okay, so I'm starting from one every time. I'm starting from one and keep going up to m. Okay, that is why my time complexity is of big O of m. क्योंकि maximum m तक जा सकते हैं. Okay. then now i'm simply comparing this statement only a into b modulo m a into i modulo m because this i is nothing but my answer jo main yahan pe check change kar raha hu bar bar okay 1 2 3 4 5 okay that is my i here and finally simply if i get my answer i can print it or i can here in this case i'm storing it yahan par main ise store kar raha hu b mein aur fir break kar diya that's all uske baad simply maine b ko print kar diya that's all अगर मुझे वैल्यू मिलेगी सो so वो आंसर जो होगा वो प्रिंट हो जाएगा अगर मुझे वैल्यू नहीं मिली तो ये माइनस वन प्रिंट हो जाएगा करेक्ट नाउ एवरीबडी क्लियर विद दिस देर इज नो नीड फॉर ब्रेक सुबानी ओके यू कैन अवॉइड इट आल्सो, बट इट इज जस्ट टू कीप बिकॉज आई थिंक देर विल बी मोर पॉसिबल आंसर ग्रेटर देन दीज ऑल्सो आई एम नॉट श्योर मे बी देर इज अ पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ ग्रेटर आंसर ऑल्सो देन दिन बट इट शुड बी मिनिमम ओके so you can break from it kisse bada koi answer na mile hume 
और अननेसेसरी कंप्यूटर को मतलब क्यों यूज करना और ओके सो लेट मी शेयर दिस कोड एंड आई होप दिस रन्स फाइन ओके सो बेसिकली दैट्स ऑल अबाउट दिस मॉड्यूलो रिलेटेड आई डू नॉट नो हाउ मेनी असाइनमेंट्स आर देयर ओके करेंटली आई कैन सी ओनली वन लेट्स ट्राई टू सी दिस नो नो सुबानी वी आर यूजिंग ब्रेक एट लॉट ऑफ प्लेसेस हम लीनियर सर्च में भी यूज कर रहे थे आई हैव यूज्ड ब्रेक एट लॉट ऑफ प्लेसेस सो गाइस लेट्स ट्राई टू सी दिस क्वेश्चन नाउ ओके सो लेट्स सी द क्वेश्चन गिवन एन इंटीजर एन फाइंड नंबर ऑफ पॉजिटिव इंटीजर्स विद एन डिजिट्स विद ऑल डिजिट्स इन नॉन डिक्रीजिंग ऑर्डर एज दिस कैन बी लार्ज फाइंड आंसर मॉड्यूलो दिस For example, triple one two two seven is valid, whereas triple one double two three one is not valid. Okay, why is it so? Okay, let's try to understand the question. It says, given an integer, find number of positive integers. Find number of positive integers with n digits, with all digits in non-decreasing order. Okay, this is this is a quite a good question. Okay, not easy. Mm -hmm. So, okay, guys. So they are saying sample input one, sample input output nine. How is it? Okay, nine numbers can be there. Okay, so range is given here. Range is for what? Input contains one line of input. Find given an integer n. Find the number of positive integers with n digits. Okay, 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 okay. Got it, got it. Got the question. Okay, so quickly let me try to explain you this question. So our question says number game. So our question is saying guys that in input we will be given. n n is what number of digits okay and what i want as my output let's firstly try to uh, analyze i want all the greater numbers okay all the numbers All numbers starting from two digit given an in, uh, integer and find number of positive integers with n digits. Okay. All numbers with n digits in increasing order. Okay, in increasing order, guys. So this quite a crazy question i do not know if there will be brute force will work in this or not we'll see we'll see we'll see guys okay now let's say you are given this number let's say the n is given as 1 okay so what are all the possible one digit number guys what are all the possible one digit number numbers are how many uh 1 2 3 4 5 Six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, I don't think they are not considering zero here. Okay, they are not considering zero, guys. Okay, zero they are not considering. So total, how many numbers are there? Total there are there are nine numbers. Cool. So my output here, output here becomes. We need to print. All numbers in increasing orders count. Okay, we do not need to print this numbers, but we want to print the count of it. So there are nine numbers, which are all in increasing order because these are single digit numbers only. So obviously there are in increasing order. If single digit is, so increasing order will be. Now let's see if they are given n equals to two. Now the things start to get crazy, guys. Crazy now. Now what are the numbers that can be? Two-digit number 
and which are in increasing order. So firstly, the range will start from which position? The range two digit number starts from 10 and goes up to 99. Cool. Starts from 10 and goes up to 99. So if I try to look into this 10, uh, 11, 12, 13, 14. So accordingly, this here 10, 10 is not a in increasing order. This 10 is not in increasing order guys, because one is greater than zero. So this is not correct, right? Got it everyone? This is not correct. These are in increasing order. These are in increasing order. These are correct. Got it everybody? 14, 15, 16, 17 and up to 19. Okay, next comes 20 again. So now if I look at 21, 22, 23, question ito samjaro subani. I'm trying to explain question only. Okay, now 24 up to 29. Just subani, I'm writing here numbers of two digit numbers. Two digit numbers will start from 10 and end up to 99. So these are all the numbers kind of. So now here, if you look into this, this 20 is not valid. Question says we have to find all the numbers which are in increasing order. Okay, increasing order in digits. Okay, all numbers which have all digits in non decreasing order. Non decreasing means increasing order. Okay, so this 20 you can see is decreasing. This 21 is also decreasing. Okay, so these are not valid. These are not valid. This is good. This 22 is good, 23 is good up to. We do not have Subani, how we have infinite numbers. When we are saying only two digit number we have to find. So it will start from 10 and end up to 99. Start from 10 and end up to 99. So this much is clear so far guys, like how this can work. Okay, and there can be more such numbers, more such numbers. After this, it will start from 30 goes up to 31 32 okay and so on okay up to 39 so these all will not be valid okay these all are not valid and rest of them are valid so we can use this approach and we can keep on doing the same thing and we will go okay we have 90 numbers Suvani, but out of them, we have to find how many of them are in increasing. Okay. One zero is not increasing. One is greater. Zero is smaller. The digit should be in increasing order. So these are the invalid cases, this thing. Okay. These are kind of invalid cases and there will be more invalid cases. Yes, Subhani. Sir, the question which I want to ask that uh, the sum of the both two digits should not uh, should be in the greater form. Sum to hai hi nahi, Subhani. There is nowhere sum. We, we, I never said about sum. The digits should be in increasing order. You can see two. 4 is greater than any number greater than it. Okay. So let's say if I'm saying 4 digit number. So I can write here 1, 2, 3, 5. It is in increasing order. If I write 5, 6 and 3. This is not correct. This is incorrect because 3 is smaller than 6. That's all. Okay. You have to take care about these numbers. Yeah, Anup, this is kind of right triangle pattern but it will get more complex when we will use three digit, four digit, five digit. It it won't be remaining any pattern. There won't be any pattern, Anup. Okay. Pale increase or offer decrease. Fir kuch bhi ho hoga. There will be a lot of chaos. So what we will do? We will try to use brute force first. Starting from this range, jo bhi range hogi, and ending up to another range. So we will try to firstly do it for every digit possible up to there. So 
let's try to do this. So firstly, 31 and 32 are not correct. These are invalid. Okay, now let's try to see how we can check whether a number, because 3 is greater than 1, Prince, 3 is greater than 1, 3 is greater than 2. It is in decreasing order, decreasing order. Okay, um, I'm not aware, Ankit, uh, what I and J are for now. Okay, I haven't declared I, J anywhere. Now, let's try to understand. Firstly, guys, we will write the simple logic for a given number n to check. Pahle hum ek single number ke liye test karenge whether it is in increasing order or not, whether it is valid or not. So, firstly, I need to write check here. Okay, just forget about the count, guys. We will check if it is valid or not. So I will write here boolean. Okay, a method boolean is valid. Okay, pass here integer num. Okay, let's say any number is given. This logic will check whether my number is in increasing order or not. So how to check this thing guys? How to check whether my digits are in increasing order or not? So how can I check this? No, no. Yeah, to take individual digits and we can check. So n percent 10, if I try to use on any number, I will be going in reverse order, right? So I will be going in reverse order. So if I say 5, 7, 8, 9, I will start from this digit, right? I will start from this digit and I need to keep on comparing it with previous digits. Right, guys? I can try this also n percent thing also i can try to convert this into a string also that also we can do so i'm not sure which method is a good one okay but uh, let's try to stick with this logic only uh, i'm thinking a lot of things here now is firstly is it even possible to solve like this i mean it is but Okay, I'm going to see the solution for this one because I don't want not want to complicate this thing here. Okay. Okay, guys, uh, I'm going to skip this question for now because uh, this might be very much complicated for now. Okay. Matlab, aisa ho sakta hai ki agar main isse abhi karne koshish karu, this might consume a lot of time and still we won't be able to pass our test cases here depending on the question. Okay. So you guys can also try it on your own, but I'm going to skip it for now. Maybe later I can take it. Okay, guys. Yeah, maybe in doubt class or uh, the later thing, but I don't want to waste time. Like class ka bohasa time consume ho jaya, guys, but uh, it's no not surety any anywhere like this question will get solved or not. Okay, so let's jump into the next part, guys. So I don't think we have anything here. So I'm going to teach you about hashing now, which is a very important, important concept. We are done with the modular part. Okay, so should I teach you about hashing firstly or should uh, we take break first? So you guys can tell me that also. Hashing, hashing, it will take some time. Okay. So let's take a break first. Okay. Because it's almost uh, 50. So we can uh, join after 10.
Okay, so let's go on at 10 p.m. Cool. So thank you, guys. Okay, let's take a break and join back at 10 p.m.
Hello guys, I'm back here. I hope everyone is back. So let's continue trying to understand uh, our hashing now. Okay, I'm not going to explain like this for now. Okay, let's not use this. Let's use my own notes. <laughs> okay, let's create our own. Okay, so hashing. So hashing basically is a way to store data in form of, it is a kind of concept. To store data in form of key value pair right with these different colors key value pair okay guys now now see very carefully and try to understand now, do you guys remember like how arrays used to work? So firstly, let's see our arrays. So in arrays, we used to have some data, some data. Let's say I create an array of strings, okay, array of strings. Let me insert some data here. Since this is a string, so it will be Ravi, Mohan, Abdur, okay, Sakir. Yeah, like lookup table. Okay, so these are some names, and you know, there will be always some index associated with that. Okay, so this will be at index zero. This will be at index 1, this is at index 2, this is at index 3 and so on. Cool. This is how arrays work. Everybody knows this, like how this arrays work. Everybody is able to understand this thing. Everybody say something. Now, these are basic arrays. Now, the property of this array is that we can fetch any data real fast okay let's say i want to fetch ravi i can directly write uh, like whatever this array of zero and i will be able to fetch ravi okay if i want to fetch abdur i can write here let's say if this is array okay if this is arr so i can simply write here arr of two okay and this will fetch me the abdur that's all right guys now it has some limitations here like this array currently first thing is that this numbers here are always in sequence form okay always in sequence form okay and also these values here these indexes are always in form of numbers now let's see our hashing here okay in java we use hashing is a concept in java to implement hashing, we use what? Hash map. 
Java. What is happening is we use hash map and hash table to implement this hashing functionality. Okay, so generally we use uh, hash map and we will be using only hash map for most of our course. Okay, if you want to know more about theoretically what hash table is, you can Google about it. But for now, I will be just explaining you hash map. So let's say I created a hash map. And again, I want to store some data here. Okay, so I will keep the same data. Ravi, Mohan, Abdur, Sakir. Cool. But here's the trickier part, guys, in this. We can make keys of any data type here. Okay, in hash map. Now I can pair my this Ravi against any kind of data. So let's say I want to map my Ravi against a character R. Okay, a single character R. Mohan against a single character M. Abdur against a single character A. Sakir against a S. So arrays are kind of similar to hash map only. But here, these keys we can change. And this thing, the value against we are, which we are pairing are called keys. Okay. These are keys here. And these are values. Everybody is able to follow. Also, just like here, we just have to define the data type of our data. Okay. Here we just define our data ka type, define karte hai, which is string. Okay. So we can simply create string of arrays. But here, we have to define data type of our keys also. So this will be like in pair of character. And this is what? This is against pair again string. Got it, everybody? So far, so good. So far, so good. Now, if I want to access any this data, okay, let's say I want to access Mohan. So what I will do? I can, uh, let's say the name of this is uh, hash map. So we can use HM. Okay, HM for hash map. Uh, you can use whatever. Okay, so I can call here HM dot. I cannot directly use this because hash map is a class. Array is a collection of uh, inbuilt data types. But this hash map is a class. So I can use a method here. Hash map dot get. Get what? Get this M. Like I'm getting here array of two. Here I'm getting HM dot M. If I try to get this M, it will get me Mohan. Cool. Now, when I want to insert some value, I can directly insert here. I can say array of three is equal to some values and arrays you don't know, you know. But while I'm inserting a new value, I need to insert in form of a pair. Okay. So let's say I'm inserting here K with name King. I want to do this. So how will I do this? I will write hm dot put dot put and again input i need to pass my first my key and then my value so first part is k comma a value which is king so far so good guys everybody is able to understand what hash map is I will I will talk about that MD. I will talk about it. Okay. I will talk about it. But this basic thing is everybody is able to understand how hash map is working here. Okay. So that's not usually how it is taught, but I like to relate it with the arrays only. Yeah, keys and values can be of any data type. You can create of any data type. 
even integer also you can create of this of integer type also so let's see now let's quickly jump into our some part here so that you can understand more okay so let's create a package which is hashing let's create a test file And hashing is a very co a useful concept and very important concept also. So just like arrays, firstly I have to create my hash map. Okay, so I will write here hash map. Just like we used to create scanner class or any other object. Similarly, we have to create object of the hash map because it is not inbuilt, guys. I will write here hash map. You can see here in hash map it is saying k and v. Okay, k and v, which is key value pair. So I have to define two data types here inside this angular bracket, and I need to tell what kind of hash map I need to create. I need to create hash map of type character and string. Cool. So let's create it. So I will write. I cannot write here char guys. Remember, I cannot write int here. I have to use only classes. So do you remember what class do we have for char? We have a wrapper classes for char, which is character. You guys remember uh, the difference between primitive data type and wrapper classes? I've already taught you. Okay, so we need to use only classes here because this hashing concept works on only on the classing. Now let's give it a name. Uh, let's name it as my map. Okay. Hash map my map is equals to new. Krishna, I will talk about it. I will talk about it. Just give me a minute. Let me breathe, man. I, I will come to each and every part. Okay, now, if you can see currently, hash map character string, my map is equals to new hash map. Okay, I have created it. Now, I want to insert some values. So, for inserting, I can insert as many as values. Okay. Firstly, just like arrays, hash map is not limited to particular size. Okay. Size is fixed, but hash map is not fixed. We can create any number of values. So I can create here using uh, my map dot put. I need to use put here. Now you, again, you can see it is showing us that first part needs to be character, which is a key, and second should be the string part, which is a value. Okay, so put and let me put here a character single quotes. Let's put r comma so let's create more values now let's put more values which is uh what we can take let's put k krishna okay v virendra Fine. Okay, enough names. Now we have created our hash map, and now let's see how to display them. So I can use s out my map dot get. Okay. Now I need to pass here the key. So let's pass here v. So v is for Virendra, and let's try to run this. Cool, works fine. I'm able to get here, Virendra. Now, guys, talking about multiple keys. Okay, talking about multiple uh, multiple values for a single key. So, you guys tell me, how did I adjusted here, Sakir, at third position? So, if I need to get here, Sakir, what I did? I I wrote here, a of three is equal to Sakir. Right. Right, guys. Now, if I write here some other values, let's say I try to duplicate it and I write here a of 3 is equal to uh, what I do not know, Saksham. Okay, now what will happen in this case, guys? You tell me what happens in the case of array if I try if I try this operation. Kya ho gaya 
come on guys tell me quickly what will happen here if i try to write these two it will overwrite okay obviously value will change from here sakir to saksham okay there will not be multiple values for three because obviously if i try to fetch three i can get only single value similar is the case with this one if i'm trying to look for k as king then how can i get some other value with k compiler won't understand right so if i try to write here hm dot put again k with something i do not know uh, anything else you can put here it will overwrite simply what i mean to say so let's try this so currently if i write here uh, <coughs> so currently i you can see virender is getting printed using v so let me print this once again and before printing i'm changing it will overwrite us simply abdur okay it will simply overwrite so veena now you can see i printed here virendra then i printed veena okay now i put veena so this put work function currently firstly it printed virendra and then it printed veena so this put function what it is doing if the value is not present inside our hash map it is saying it sees whether the key is present inside our map or not if it is present it will overwrite the value if it is not present it will create a new value got it everybody how this put works how this get works everybody is able to understand this much so far come on guys say something okay so this much is the part now let's say the most trickier part is guys here because once again uh, simply aman yeah it will only, no no if it is not present and i'm directly printing agar pehli baar main ise print karne ki koshish karunga and it is not present so first time it will throw error okay so currently v is not present let's try to run this currently you can see v isn't even present so it is printing null got it which condition one which condition i'm not using anywhere any condition here okay i need to explain the put condition okay sorry so put says very simple if value is if key is already present it will overwrite the value else it will create a new entry inside my hash map and put a pair here of this key value got it everybody okay so again the thing is guys the thing is just like in arrays what happens in arrays the memory allocation is happening continuously no virendra what i'm saying मैं सिंगल ही तो प्रिंट कर रहा हूँ विशाल इफ यहाँ पर तो मैं सिंगल ही प्रिंट कर रहा हूँ ना अलग अलग लेट मी शो यू यू आर गेटिंग कंफ्यूज यू कैन सी आई पुट हेयर वीरेंद्र देन आई पुट वीना हेयर व्हाट विल हैपन ये वीना ओवरराइट हो जाएगा वीरेंद्र से आई एम जस्ट प्रिंटिंग इट सेपरेटली सो ना इट विल जस्ट प्रिंट वीना नो मैटर वॉट दट्स ऑल ओके everybody is cleared with this put part now i hope so okay now very simple now guys the thing is in arrays these values yeah 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 here no need of sequence so currently in arrays the values are stored sequentially one after the other one after the other but here they are not stored sequentially guys they are placed randomly in memory okay hota kya guys how this hashing works works hashing is also a function or a algorithm by which we are binding this key with this value 
ओके हैशिंग एक एल्गोरिदम है जिससे वो वेरी फास्टली जिससे वेरी फास्टली वेन आई ट्राई टू सर्च फॉर दिस के इट इज लुकिंग अप दिस वैल्यू वेरी फास्टली इन हाउ मच टाइम जस्ट लाइक दिस एरे just like this array excess time here how much is the excess time for array is big of 1 right in arrays similarly in this hashing also excess time is big of 1 only okay so to connect these thing this key to this value there happen some algorithms that are working behind okay to maintain this kind of table so now guys but since the indexing are continuous and in sequence here we do not have any sequence here we do not have any sequence this this ravi can be stored here this mohan can be stored somewhere else this can be stored somewhere else anywhere randomly that's how this hash map is now the trickier part is guys to print this actually now if i want to print all the values not just a particular value but all the values in array array is very simple because i am accessing them through the indexes and indexes will start from 0 to size minus 1 right but here i do not know what are my indexes here here what are my keys ye sari ki sari to mujhe pehle se nahi pata hai right it can be anything it can be anything random so how to iterate this thing guys how to iterate this thing now if i want to print all the keys and all the values all the keys and all the values all the keys and all the values for the complete table i want to print so how can i do that so to do that we need to use enhanced for loops okay we need to use the concept of enhanced for loop have you talked about this before or not firstly tell me this kya humne enhanced for loop ke bare mein pehle baat chit kari hai ya nahi okay if no i will explain you this so uh, i am going to tell this about enhanced for loop Yeah, I'm showing you, Sumani. I'm showing you. I'm showing you. Okay. So, firstly, let's see how the normal for loops works. Okay. Let's create an array here. Int a. Equals to let's say ten, twenty three, forty five, fourteen, and seventy eight. So this is my array. Let's take the length of it, a dot length. Cool. So now, if I want to print, let's say just I want to print all the values. What should I do? I will run a for loop. Int i is less than n. Uh, I mean i is equals to zero. I is less than n, and i plus plus. That's all. Okay. So we can use this since I know that it will be starting from this one. Now the point here is print values. Let me print it. The line A of i. Point here is why we are able to print all the values using this for loop because we know indexing of array starts from zero and then does ends up to n minus one. So that is why I am running my loop starting from zero and less than n. Okay, but there is one more way. that is an asked for loop what it does is <clears throat> if we have some object okay just like arrays or some list or something like that we can take individual value of this okay and it will itself itself start from the first location and go up to the last location start from the first location and go up to the last location automatically okay so let's see how it works so if i say int x now this is my variable that is representing this a of i okay and it should point to which array this array a so you need to use here a colon not semicolon a colon and 
pointing from a now what is happening guys for this array a this loop will keep running starting from first position to the end okay and each time each time it will keep on copying each value inside this x firstly this 10 will come in this x then this 23 will come in this x then this 45 then this 14 and then this 78 okay let me try to run this firstly for this simple for loop okay it is printing all the values cool now if i try to print it using this and replace this by x so now yeah this is for each loop for each loop and enhanced for loops both are same okay for each loop or enhanced for loop both are same so currently you can see i'm able to print all the values got it everybody is any doubt in this please tell me the difference is guys okay the difference is in this first for loop we can manipulate our values okay yahan par hum yahan par hum manipulate kar sakte hain apni starting location hum zero se bhi start kar sakte hain middle point se bhi start kar sakte hain hum reverse mein bhi traverse kar sakte hain okay but in enhanced for loop we do not have those uh, flexibility we can only start from first location and it will automatically start from first location and go up to the end got it okay for we do not have any conditions or okay yahan par manually condition de rahe ki ye first se start hona chahiye starting se start hona chahiye mid se start hona chahiye we can do that but here it will automatically start from the first location and go up till the end it will just process traverse through all the values x x is just like a of i okay just like a of i it will keep on copying each value traverse each value and put it inside this x put it inside this x reverse we cannot do this uh, aman hum isme reverse print nahi kar sakte that is what i'm trying to explain enhanced for loop only will start from the first location and go up till the end automatically i hope this is clear to everybody now So this is how we can use this. Yeah, A here is the array that we want to process. Yeah, it's simple. So now let me create another array. Okay, let me create another array. Let me create array of strings. Okay, let's say I say str. Not let's say arr. And I'm creating array of strings. Let me put here some values. Ravi. One. Um, these three names now let me get here the values arr dot length now you can see now which array i need to traverse arr so i should put here arr okay now what type of each value is each value is of what type not integer type guys now it is of string type so i should replace this by string that's all now this x variable you can use it anywhere i can write anything here i can write here str also this will also work okay and replace this by str now let's try to run this cool in 10 ki zarurat to saurabh isme thi is wale mein is wale for loop mein okay yahan par zarurat nahi hai Okay, I hope this enhanced for loop is clear to everyone now. Now guys, we can use this feature of this enhanced for loop. That is, we do not care in which order it is printing. We can just, we can just start from the first location and keep on iterating until it process all the values here. Okay, all the values. But now, that is also tricky in this hashing. Okay, so let me show you that, how to do that.
Subhani, I have already explained this. Finding the length is for this this part here, not this part. This simple array के लिए कह रहा था मैं ये इसके लिए नहीं है. Okay, now I'm going to write the last for loop. But now this is very tricky, guys. It's not simply that I can iterate values from my map. Okay, I need to use this my map dot. Just like uh, this thing here, guys. I was using string. I need to do here. First, let me just write map dot entry, okay, which is of character and string type. Okay. Each value is a entry. And now I need to take my map dot entry set. Okay, so let me just write it out firstly, guys. Then only you will be able to understand. So entry dot get key. Okay, let me just test it out once. Then I will explain you this. What is going on here? So currently, you can see I am able to print all the values here. They are not in correct order. This order I have inserted. It is not in that order. But all the values are here. Cool. So now let's try to understand this for loop. What I did here. Firstly, guys, this hash map here, HM, I cannot directly traverse it. I cannot directly traverse it. I need to convert this hash map into a entry set. I need to convert it into a entry set. Okay, now, now this each pair here is form of a entry. Okay, each pair here is form of a entry. Okay, and collection of these this entries is entry set. Got it? This much so far. So what I did. I'm not using directly here my map. I'm using here my map dot entry set. Okay, I'm converting it into a entry set. Here now, now here now, I can use just like I was using here in this thing string because each value is a string. Now each value is what? Each value is a entry. Each value is a entry of map. So I need to use here. Map dot entry. Okay, what type of entry? Just like here, I was putting string. It is a map dot entry of type pair, character and string. Character and string. I need to define here this type. Okay. Now I can use any variable here. I'm using here entry. You can use any variable. Just like I can use here element also. Okay. I can use here x also. So this is my variable that I'm defining. Now, if I say a name, this is my variable as x. This x is representing this each entry. Okay, this complete entry here. Out of this entry, I need to get my key. Okay, so I can use dot get key. If I need to get my value, I can use dot get value. Okay, because it has two parts. One is key, one is value. So that is what I'm using here. I wrote this as entry, and I'm using here entry dot get key, entry dot get value. Cool. So I'm printing it in this fashion. You can print if you want. You can print just all the keys also. If you want, you can just print all the keys also. Okay, but I have printed in this manner. I have keys first print kariye, fir ek chota sa arrow, and then it's relatable value. Okay, so entry pehle ise point kar tha. Entry is pointing this part. Then entry will start pointing this part. Then entry will start pointing this part, and then entry will start pointing this part. This is not stack, Durga. This is not at all stack. 
stack is completely different okay so that's how it is working so let me clear this once more time firstly guys i remember we cannot moto is vishal how will you print all the values if you want to if you want to traverse through complete hash map how will you traverse एरेज में तो हम ट्रेवर्स कर सकते हैं क्योंकि हमें पता है कि कीज जो है वो स्टार्टिंग जीरो से होगी और एन माइनस वन तक ही चलेगी वी नो दैट बट यहां पर ऐसा कुछ फिक्स नहीं है इट इज कंप्लीटली रैंडम राइट सो वी कैन नॉट यूज अ सिंपल फोर लू पेयर गॉट इट विशाल हम से एरे में यहाँ पर जो इंडेक्सेस है जीरो वन टू थ्री फॉर्म के फॉर्म में होते हैं बट यहाँ नहीं है इट्स नॉट देयर इट्स रैंडम दीज कीज आर रैंडम्स ओके ओके सो वी कैन यूज दिस गाइस सो आई विल टेल अबाउट फोर लूप वंस अगेन फर्स्टली यू नीड टू रिमेम्बर यू कैन नॉट डायरेक्टली यूज मैप हैश मैप टू ट्रेवल्स दिस एडवांटेज वी विल टॉक uh already i have explained different examples uh, here <coughs> advantage is here. firstly in arrays aap dekh sakte ho ki yahan par jo ye indexes hote hain ye fixed hote hain the size is fixed but the size of this hash map is not fixed you can put as many as many values you want okay here it is continuous 0 1 2 3 4 8 it's not continuous you can update them and you can modify any value yeah if you want to print the whole list if you want to traverse to complete hash map you need to use this for each loop it's not like 2d hash map you know you can create hash map of 2d array also list also you can create hash map of any type क्योंकि प्रिंट करते हुए अमित आई एम सेइंग दैट इट डज नॉट मेंटेन्स द ऑर्डर ओके हैश मैप डज नॉट मेंटेन्स द ऑर्डर वाइज आई टोल्ड यू दे आर जस्ट स्टोर्ड रैंडमली व्हाट इज व्हाई इट्स द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ इट ओके देखो देखो ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाई बिकॉज इन एरे we tell computer already that i need five values let's say okay in array we tell already that i need five five values so this five space memory gets reserved continuously but how can computer decide when there is so many memories and it can keep on increasing ki kitna space reserve karu iske liye we cannot do it right so that is why it is not continuous okay so that's all so basically hashing is a concept to store data in form of key value and in java you can use hash map and uh, <coughs> again guys there is like a key value pair you need to define its type character and string okay to insert data you need to use dot put to get the data you need to use dot get to traverse the complete map you need to use enhanced for loop and inside that also you need to take care firstly you need to convert it into entry set okay and now you can get each entry here and get the values yeah yeah you can create any any way you can create in form of integer also let's say i want to create here in form of integer i can remove this get a separate one okay so what i will do now i will create in form of integer we can use integer also here now let's say i put here 4 7 yaar yeah, ishav guys i have like told you 100 times like 
don't ask me like uh, this input thing because it's simple if you want to store some values let's say you want to store ravi in place of something take this ravi as input that's all take this four as input separately okay and then use this thing only you should be able to do these things guys input hum single element ke form mein hi lete hain okay then you convert that input in in whatever the form required that's how it always works so let's try to run this now once again guys i have already explained this for loop uh, many times now it is the thing that when you will practice only then you will get it okay jitna use karoge tabhi aapko samajh mein aayega abhi main bar bar samjhaunga it doesn't make sense so currently you can see the value is get, getting printed okay currently you can see it is not in right order they are coming randomly but pairing is correct 34 is for virender only okay Seven is for Krishna only. Seven is for Krishna only. Okay, like that. So now you can use this also. I'm not using int here. I'm using integer because integer is a class. So these are the things you need to take care. Now, guys, I'm I'm going to tell you little bit more about hashing. Okay, questions we can do tomorrow. No worries. Okay, currently you haven't studied about interfaces though, but in Java we have map interface. Okay, map interface. Okay, and using this map interface, three types of maps are implemented, which we can use. this was one of the example okay there are actually three types of maps one is hash map another is linked hash map and finally we have tree map these all have their i mean pros and cons but i'm not going to talk about that much in detail but for now the thing is the order in which it stores data order it stores randomly okay it stores same as insertion okay and this is what this tree map is stores in the form of sorted it uses property of this uh, linked hash map key and value are not classes uh, ankit key and value are properties of this uh, hash map yes subhan you want to ask something please quickly go ahead Okay now excuse me sir jo aapne matlab key and values ko likha hua hai to wahan pe int and jo characters hum log ke primitive types ke hain usko hum define kar sakte hain ya fir keval string big integer wagaira ye sab i said that ye jo integer jo maine likha hai if i'm using this 0 1 2 3 4 here yes, i cannot sir. write here primitive data type int this is error okay it can take only class so we can use wrapper class of int that is integer okay it's not big int it's just a wrapper class of int so sir only use only wrapper class yeah okay so thank you okay now 
uh, these things, guys. I'm going to explain you the difference. Firstly, in hash map, currently you can see I inserted some values here, right? I inserted it in some values, and they're coming randomly. Cool. Now I can define here linked hash map. If I try to define here linked hash map instead of hash map. Now let's see if I try to run this, what happens? Did you see the difference, guys? Now the output is coming in the same manner as we inserted 4, 7, 34, 12. 4, 7, 34, 12. Cool. Got it, guys? Are you able to understand the difference here? And sorted order based on keys, based on keys. Now, if I try to use tree set here, tree map, sorry, not tree set. Now, if I try to use tree map here, guys, now you will see the difference. Now, it is printing in the sorted order. Okay, keys are automatically sorted 4, 7, 12, and 34. Cool. Works fine. Works fine, guys. Everybody is able to understand this thing. Got the difference between all three? Okay, so all of them has their own use cases, and you should be able to understand. Guys, mostly you will be using hash map. Mostly you will be using hash map, but you should know about these things also because these can also come in handy and there might be some questions where this come in handy and mostly guys, when I ask in interviews, like what, what type of maps are in Java, they say, I know only about hash map. If there are different types of maps, I said, there are three types of maps. So they do not know about it. So please uh, learn about this. Okay. These are important. Now guys, just like uh, to implement this hash map, there is also a hash table, but I do not want to get into this detail because it's uh, more likely to, when you will learn about threads and synchronization, which is, which is not part of DSA. So if you want to learn more depth about Java, you can learn it on your own, but it's not related to currently related to this DSA. Okay. So you can or cannot use hash table also in place of hash map also, but mostly we will be using hash map only. Okay. So we have three types of uh, hash map, hash map, linked hash map. Uh, Shelly, I already have a separate uh, video on JDK. I told uh, in few sessions before. Okay. So let's see now guys, let's see if there is any question. But I do not want to take question although because it will be very tough question. Okay, the questions are not here. Yes, Shelly, you can Google uh, Google or YouTube about it. You will be able to set up. Now there is an important concept, important question kind of you can say. Very basic, very basic and very important about uh, this using this hash map. Okay, guys, before telling about this, I want to also tell you there is a there is another method that we can check to check whether we whether this key is present or not okay or a value is present or not so currently you can see we have these values okay 4 7 34 12 so how to know whether this key is present or not we can use for that my map dot contains key okay, dot contains key we can check the 34 is present or not let me directly try to print out here. If I try to run this, you can see 34 is present true, right? If I try to print here, let's say 56, it's not present. So it will give us false. Cool. Similarly, we can use uh, something else also like uh, contains value. Okay. This is to check whether a value is present or not. 
So value I can pass here. Let's say Ravi. Okay. So this should be case sensitive. Ravi. So Ravi is present. True. Let's uh, put some other values. Which is false. Got it everybody? This thing. So there are like many, many methods that you can study. Time complexity for <coughs> access, it is big of one. For insertion, deletion also, it is big of one. It is big of one only generally but again it depends on types of map also okay in this tree map is it is generally i mean log of n okay so i do not want to get much more into detail about these things guys you can study online if you want but basically our operations are really fast in this hash map it is it built in such a way now so now we know about this contains thing. Okay, cool. So now I'm going to teach you a very important program of this, which is frequency count. Okay, maybe I won't be able to finish that up, but uh, we'll discuss about just the logic. Okay, let me create here and see now you will be able to understand how much uh, hashing is like really cool and really awesome thing now guys let's say i have this uh, array here okay in which i have some random numbers let's say 1 7 10 one okay seven seven and nine okay let's say we have these numbers only now i want you to print the frequency of each number so my output should be my output should be like this one is appearing how many times one two two times seven is appearing how many times one two and three times Okay, then 10 is appearing one time and 9 is also appearing one time. Got it? This, this thing is clear to everybody what I just did now. Question is clear to everyone. Simply I need to print the frequency, frequency of each number. Okay, so how can you approach this problem? So there are different, different ways to do this. One way is you take this one and start searching this one inside this complete array okay then you take this seven and start searching for this seven in this complete array then you take this 10 and start searching for this in this complete array cool you can do this so using brute force how much will be the time complexity if i try to use this approach guys okay so how much will be the time complexity using brute force approach so it will be n square okay because we are checking for each value in this complete array complete array again 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 so it will be n square okay now there is a very cool concept using this hash map now let's see how we can use the same thing using hash map so let me quickly copy this thing put it over here now simply what you can do instead of traversing this array again and again create a hash map of type what of type so firstly here these values here these are my this will become my key these are of type integers and this is my count this is also of type what integer only so my map will be of type integer integer 
integer okay this is my key this is my value so this is my number actually okay what kind of the actual number and this is my count that i'm taking here cool now what i will be doing i will start reversing my this uh, array starting from this location i will check whether this one is present as a key inside my this table whether it is present inside my table is it present guys is it present no so i will insert this with a count of 1 with a count of 1 okay now let's shift ahead is this 7 present no so i will insert 7 with a count of 1 now is this 10 present no 10 is not present so i will insert it with a count of 1 now next is 1 is this 1 present yes it is present so what i will do now i will fetch this one whatever its count is okay i am not creating a new entry now i am fetching this count whatever this count is add one to it and update it so this will become 2 now next is 7 so this time yes 7 is present yes it is present so update its count again 7 is this 7 present again update its count to 3 finally this 9 is 9 present no so create a new entry for it got it everybody this approach is clear to everyone so now how much time did we take now how much time it is taking now how much time it is taking it is big o of n what about the space complexity guys what about the space complexity so we are kind of using another table here a hash map to store these values right okay so again space complexity will become big o of n extra space while here in this brute force space complexity was big o of 1 right here we were not using any extra space but here we are using but this is cool this just fully optimizes our time and does our task like really fast okay so guys try to use this uh, these concepts whatever i have taught like uh, if it contains or not and try to implement this by yourself okay try to implement this frequency count by yourself okay it will be beneficial if you can implement using brute force also but at least try to implement it by this hash map no it's not n square how it is sandesh n square i just went through my complete array only once main sirf ek hi baar gaya apne pure array mein yahan se yahan tak that's all ek hi baar that's all okay and in the end guys remember to print this table okay one big go of n will be required to traverse through this and create this table one time complexity will be required to print this but again it's 2n and that which is uh, big of n only kaise repeat ho raha sandesh i didn't get it kaise repeat ho raha barbar i just went through the complete table only or uh, complete array only once only once okay so that's all for today so this hashing is a very important concept and keep learning about this case so i hope you enjoyed my session and you learn something very good uh, that's all thank you keep coding keep learning bye bye take care nikhil you you could have told that uh, we haven't studied uh, about hashing so far okay you could have told okay so that's all for today guys bye good night take care. keep learning bye bye thank you
Yes, Nikhil, it matters. Mock interview performance matters for sure. Okay. It will help you to get into advanced uh, batch if you want. Okay, guys, that's all. Bye bye. Thank you.